Hey everyone, it's Lavella again, and we are back to The Walking Dead. Uh, in the last part, we finally broke into the house, but we found a dead zombie boy in the stairs, and Kenny is reliving all of his nightmares. So, and I'm gonna bury him with his dog. The hell? Oh. Where'd the dog go? <laughs> say something. From us. Lee, what's going on? Oh my gosh, it's scary. I saw someone standing there by the fence, watching us. A walker? No, too fast. Took off like a bat out of hell when I spotted him. Was it a man or a woman? Didn't get a good enough look. What does it matter? I'm wondering if it's the same guy who's been following us. The guy on the radio. Oh, it scared me. Kenny, you look like I'm dead. I'm fine. I just... I'm fine. What's all the ruckus? Lee saw someone watching us from outside the gate. What? Who? I can't be sure. They ran off before I could get a good look. I don't like this one bit. Not one bit. Me either. Walkers are one thing. But the thought of someone out there actually stalking us. Alright, that's it. We've stuck around here long enough. It's time to get back on track. Time to get down to the river and find ourselves a boat. I don't know if Omid's well enough to move yet. Well, he better get ready, because I'm going down to River Street right now to find a boat. And as soon as she's ready to go, we're moving out. We only checked the house to make sure it's secure. We didn't really toss the place. We're low on food, water, meds, ammo. I we should make sure there's nothing here we can use before we move out. Will you search it if you want to? I'm done with this house. We came to this city to find a boat, and that's just what I'm gonna do. Maybe it's not such a bad idea to check the place one I more. said I'm done with this house. Okay. We can do both, Ben. You take one last look around the place. Grab anything that looks useful. While me and Kenny go down to the river to get us a boat. Sounds good Wait, to me. Can't I come? Uh, My mom and dad can't be far now. Maybe we can look for them on the way to the river. We can't right now. But you promised we'd go find them when we got here. On the train. You promised. I know I, know I did, Sweet Pea. I haven't forgotten. But Savannah's more dangerous than I thought it would be. We all need to stick together as a group. Okay. Daylight's burning. Gonna go grab my gear, then we'll head out. Come on, Clem. 
Let's go see if Omid needs anything. So, you're just gonna leave me on the bench here? That's not how it is, Ben. I need you to stay here and keep an eye on Clementine. I can do that. Well, just so we're clear, while I'm gone, anything or anyone tries to get inside this house, you shoot them. Don't even think twice about it. Understand? I got no problem shooting walkers. Did you hear what I said? Anything or anyone? Good. Yeah, we're not talking about just walkers here. But that freaking guy who scared the crap out of me. Ugh. <laughs> His eyes looked creepy. Infected. All right, Kenny, me and you like the old times. <laughs> Before you got depressingly angry. Oh, you are like one determined man. What the hell does that mean? RLW670B? Hey, uh, so you want to talk about it? About what? About what happened back there in the attic. No. You sure, man? I mean, river's right up ahead. Oh my gosh. Again? Son of a bitch. That bastard's fucking with us again. It's another trap. No, listen. That's not the same bell as before. This one's further off. Whatever it is, it's gonna get the dead moving over there. <gasps> what in the hell is going on? When did you have oh, never mind. I don't know, but the person ringing that bell might be doing us a favor. Whatever, man. I find whoever's doing that, I'll ring their motherfucking bell for it. <laughs> Good one. Hmm. Let's keep moving. Still nothing moving behind us. I think we're... Oh, no. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Oh, no. There's got to be a boat. There's got to be. Are you sure about that? Doesn't look like it to me. Maybe we need to start thinking about a plan B. This is the plan. It's the only one we've got, and you pissing on it in front of everyone like you did back at the house ain't exactly helping. Well, screw you. I ain't giving up that easy. I... Damn it. Dang it. It's done for. Come on, you should have known. This one might still be salvageable. Seriously? You got a better fucking idea. What? I'll check it out. You look further along the waterfront. Maybe there's something at the other end. I don't think we should split up too far. We don't have to. See that telescope? You can see all the way along the waterfront from right here. See what you can find. Okay. Yes, you're the hand man. New stand. Oh. <laughs> and a door. Oh, and uh, there's so much to look at. An abandoned new stand. Any money? Not like we need it. It's an old cash register. Not much use these days. Wait, did I just... <laughs> An 
abandoned news. Yeah, I thought I was gonna show the Must have taken weeks to board up all these windows. What the hell are these markings? Thank you. I was wondering all the same thing. Place. Could be military tags. But what oh, does that mean? <laughs> I hear something. something that was down here. The telescope, there it is. Great. Needs a quarter to work. Oh, got nine. to glance around a little bit and find out another place I want money. Looks like it's still intact. This one you have to use quarters for, don't you? How long does said machine last? Someone must have been trying to back their boat into the water. Maybe <gasps> things didn't go as planned. That looks like a nice boat. Doesn't it? Oh, right. Hmm, I can't go any further. Oh, that's the one he was, okay. He's talking about. All right, let's try it again. Let's the telescope in. Fuck! What's up with the boat? It ain't gonna work. Hull's cracked beneath the water line, plus someone stripped out the battery. You can't fix it? What the... What the hell is that? A fate worse than death. Yeah, that's not looking too pretty around here. Abandoned, like every other place in this city. Plenty of docks, no boats. No way that one's salvageable. The Talmadge Memorial Bridge. Can't imagine how many people tried to escape across it when the city started to fall. Yeah, yeah, probably not a good one. Nothing but water, not a boat to be seen. Okay, you go the other way. What the hell? What? Huh? Get down, get down! 
Open Pionat. Why the hell are we hiding? Someone came down from that building at the end of the street. Where'd he go? Saw him run into that newsstand. Could be our bell ringer. How about we go find out? I don't know. Maybe he's just another scavenger like us. Yeah, and maybe he ain't. Maybe he's that fucker on the radio who's been messing with Clementine's head. Don't you want to know? Because I want to know. Okay, you head up the middle of the street. I'll go around the side, cover your flank. We'll come up on him quiet, take him by surprise. We just want to talk to this guy. Do we come up oh, on him quiet? Talk. Bring his happy gun. <laughs> How did they not see him? <laughs> what the? Oh my god! Uh, can I click fast enough? Obviously not. <gasps> what the heck, Kenny? Kenny! Clementine! Please, don't hurt him! Clementine, what are you You're not from Crawford. You're not the guy on the radio. <laughs> I'm not a guy at all. Full marks for observation. Kenny? Kenny, don't! <laughs> no, he's with us! Who the hell are you people? I asked you first. Okay. Name's Molly. Molly? I'm Lee. This is Kenny and Clementine. We're not looking for any trouble. Hi. No. <laughs> You're cute. You guys really aren't from Crawford, are you? No. That is. Everything beyond that barricade. What the hell happened here? You sure you want to know? Yeah. When everything started going to shit, some people got together and sealed off that whole neighborhood. Folks willing to do anything to stay alive, stop the dead getting in. I try to avoid them. Why? Let's just say they have a zero-tolerance policy for anyone who won't, or can't, live by their rules. So how'd you know we weren't them? Because there are no children in Crawford. Not anymore. What? What do you mean, no children? Why not? No children, no elderly, no one with an advanced medical condition. Basically, no one who might be a burden on the community. Crawford's all about the survival of the fittest. That's how they survived. While the rest of the world went to shit around them. Jesus Christ. Well, just the opposite when you think about it. What exactly did Crawford do with all these burdens? What happened to them? Well, you met some of them already. <gasps> Fuck me. Yeah. Anyone who got sick, anyone too old, anyone they figured wasn't strong enough to survive. To them, those people were just mouths to feed, a drain on their precious resources. How do you know all this? Everyone in Savannah knew. What was going on inside Crawford got passed around like a ghost story. 
Except this one was true. been ringing those bells all over town? Yeah, that would be me. I knew it! Lee, I knew she was the one who's been following us! Fucking with us! Get that finger out of my face, Grandpa, before I jam it straight up your ass. <laughs> I haven't been following you. I don't even know who the hell you people are. Calm down, Kenny. The voice on the radio was a guy, remember? Yeah, well, whoever you are, ringing those bells this morning nearly got us all killed. Raised the dead all around us. That's the idea, genius. It's how I get around. I ring a bell in one neighborhood to attract the local geeks towards it. Buys me some time to scavenge the areas they cleared out. Geeks? Is that what you call them? Yeah, you know, like at the carnival? They'll eat anything, alive or dead. That's pretty smart, the bells. Doesn't take much to outsmart the dead. Bunch of dumbasses. You just gotta move fast. Get in and out before they start to wander back again. Look, I'm gonna ask you people again. You're not from Crawford, so who the hell are you? What are you doing here? Came down here looking for a boat. Hoping to get our people out of here and find someplace safe. Yeah, good luck with that. Anyone with a boat took it out of here as soon as people started eating each other. Any that got left behind, Crawford stripped them for parts. Cars, too. There's gotta be something. If there was, do you think I'd still be here? I've been over every inch of this city. This whole place is picked clean. God damn it! Fuck! Hey, moron, you want to keep your voice down? Shit. Since you're not getting on any boat, I'd advise you folks to go back to where you came from before... Great. Just wait. Oh. Isn't that the... Gunshot must have brought him back. Isn't there another way back to the house? But if there were... She left us. Wow, she's like the Assassin's Creed. You just gonna let her go? Hey, you can't just leave us here. Really? Watch. No, please, please don't leave us. Use your charm coming time. Come on, make it fast. Get up there, Kenny. Come on, Lee. Lee, come on! Come on, man. One good jump. No. No, 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 no. No, Lee! Come on, Kenny. I don't know what I'm pushing it for. Hurry! Oh no, I'm screwed. Come on, Lee! Get your ass out of there! What the? Can't get it open! Here, use that to pry it open. Come on, Lee. Get him, get him, get him! I'm in the sewers! Down by the river. Clementine, can you hear me? If you can hear me, just get back to the house, okay? I'll meet you there. Oh no! Shit. Fast. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, I gotta end it here. It's been a long video. Um, thank you again so much for watching. Hope you enjoy. And hopefully I'll see you for the next part. Have a good day, afternoon, evening. Bye. Uh, don't shoot. Uh -huh.